everyone, welcome to Average Joe Watch Reviews. I actually have a watch today that a friend was uh, nice enough to lend to me. And it's a watch that a lot of you probably haven't seen in a long time. It is from Movado, but it's an older model. So with no further ado, let's dive on in. All right, so here is the old school Movado. And as you've seen in one of my other videos, I actually said that this was a diamond when in fact it is not. It's actually just a stainless steel dot and it's indicative of a sundial and the dot is actually representing the sun at high noon. So that's something that I learned after the fact and something that I was actually kind of disappointed to hear because I thought that that was one of the draws of this brand and what made it so elegant is the fact that each one had a diamond at the 12 o'clock. And considering the price tag of these things, I figured, well, it's got a Swiss quartz movement. The diamond had to be jacking the price up. And guess what? It wasn't the case. So I have a little bit of an issue with Movado. But besides that, let's get into the review itself um, and get into some of the positive aspects. As you can see, it does have a sunburst gray dial and it actually shows really nicely. This is one of those models that um, I did like because it wasn't the traditional black model that I do have, by the way. Um, it does have the traditional hands that you can see right there. Very good, good, good view of that. Another interesting thing about this watch, or fact about this watch, is the fact that it has this dot all throughout the watch. So as you can see, it has it at the 1, 5, 7, and 11 o'clock positions. And it also has it all throughout the bracelet. One thing I compliment Movado on is the smoothness of the bracelets. These are always really quality bracelets that they produce. Um, this one may be ugly, in my opinion, but I do have to commend them on the quality of the bracelet. As you can see, it has a very pronounced crown guard. So this crown is very well protected and there's only one click and that is to set the time. It does have a very tight and quality feel to it, but there's no complications to it. It is a Swiss quartz movement it is swiss made but these were right at the thousand dollar price point and one of my negatives about movado in general is i always thought that they were a overpriced brand that they were a a brand that everybody wanted but could never figure out why um, they all looked the same they all had quartz movements for the most part and very little complications, if any. Um, they, they didn't have to spend any kind of money on any type of applied markers or even applied logo since it's printed on the dial. I mean, I just didn't understand where the price point justified the watch. And this is just another example of that. But let me get off my soapbox for a second here and just talk a little bit more about the features of the watch, which again, aren't many, um, but we do have a polished bezel and we do have polished on the side of the case. And we do have some brushing on the tops. So there is some detail here and the brushing actually continues into the bracelet. It is a true dual deployment clasp, and it is a hidden clasp with the Movado logo right there. In order to release it, you just press it, and it, so it is, it is a quality clasp. You have Movado written there, okay? And it is smooth. I, I do like Movado bracelets. I always felt like they felt good on the wrist, and I always felt like they flowed pretty smoothly like there was never any clunkiness to it and they are a very solid bracelet so <clears throat> I will give them quality um, I will give them credit on that 
This one here does have set fire crystal, which I expect at this price point. It is water resistant. Um, it doesn't tell you what it's water resistant up to, but I can guarantee you it's not much. Um, it is stainless steel, and he actually still has the sticker on it, um, which we need to we need to remove this. This is the SE model, as you can see here. And now it's all sticky, but we'll get that off. And this is a sports edition, which is what the SC stands for. So yeah, this was the sports edition Movado of the of the era before they introduced the Movado Bold of today. And this watch here is now the sports watch. And they've gotten a lot more affordable as well. Um, back into a range that they should be, should have been at a long time ago. So I think they finally, um, they finally wised up. Let's just put it that way. Let's get into some dimensions here. Uh, <clears throat> so the case diameter, 30, it's a 36 case diameter with the crown. We're looking at right around a 30, 39. Our case thickness comes in at extremely thin, 8.6. Um, if you're doing any type of, I mean, you can't even change the bracelet out of this thing, because look at this right there. That is a crazy, you need a special bracelet for this um, if you were ever gonna change this. So this one was really not meant to be changed, because um, you would need to have a bracelet that would match this pattern. So you're pretty much stuck with this unless Movado came out with an aftermarket one, which I don't think they did, but I could be wrong. So lug to lug, you're looking at around a 42 millimeter. Um, so on the wrist, you're getting about 42 millimeters worth of watch uh, real estate here. Um, it is a smaller watch. Does it wear the 36? I don't think it does. I actually think it looks more like a 38 on the wrist, and I think that's because you have a little bit of real estate with the lugs coming out a little bit, but um, it's this very, it's a very smooth design. Um, as I said, it's a little bit much with all the, the ovals or the circles here. I think the bracelet definitely is, um, it's different. You know, I have to give them credit. I do like the hidden deployment system here. Um, this is definitely a different watch. Um, not for everybody, but um, it's definitely, I mean, they call it a sports watch, but honestly, I don't see anything sporty about it. I mean, this thing just screams dress watch. Movado was just a, a confusing brand to me. I never really related to it. And, you know, this thing here, I don't, I don't know what makes it a sport watch, honestly. I mean, okay, you got the protected crown. Um, you got a couple circles. It's gray, but I mean, honestly, it's not really sporty. So, but this is the watch that Movado had back in the day. Uh, I believe it was in the 90s. I could be mistaken, but I'll. You guys would know a little bit better about that, but I'm sure this brings a lot of memories to some people out there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Thank you so much for joining me today. And remember, there's always time to be kind to one another. Please take care of each other. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you guys next time.